Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a haul. Um, I just want to say before we go on with this that I am extremely sorry that I've been away for the past three weeks. I have been crazy busy and I'm not even kidding. I was away for my birthday and things like that. It was on the, my birthday was on the 29th if you guys didn't know. Um, and I turned 21 so it was a big deal. So I was away at the shore for the entire weekend. And before that I was kind of getting ready to go and just trying to, you know, get myself together and everything like that. And I've just been, it's just been a hectic past month for me um, but it's finally settled down and I'm finally getting ready to get back in the swing of things and try and upload regularly um, I really need to sit down and make a schedule for myself um, that's one of the reasons why I bought a planner um, because I need to start scheduling you know when I'm gonna film and stuff like that because it's kind of like I just film randomly or whenever I have the time and I realize that that's not working out too well. Um, so I kind of need to plan certain days and I will definitely keep you guys updated on that because I'm going to try and film at least twice a week um, if I can. Um, like I said, I will always keep you guys updated on Twitter. Um, I'm always active on there letting you guys know what's going on. Um, but besides that, I just want to say I'm sorry and I love you guys and I'm so happy that you guys have sticked with me. Um, throughout this I am sorry that I've been gone for three weeks it sucks I know I'm just you don't even know how bad I feel um so without further ado let's just get into this haul um because I can't wait to show you guys what I've picked up um throughout the past month of August um and stuff like that so let's get into it okay so I have kind of an array of different things that I've gotten I have some clothes some beauty stuff just some miscellaneous stuff as well um so I'm just gonna go with the clothes first okay so the first thing that I got was by the brand um, project social tea and this is from urban outfitters um, and it was $39 but I got two of them and I think it was like on sale it was like um, I think they were like 20 bucks each um, so they were on sale so I didn't pay full price for them so it's basically just a tunic looking thing and it has quarter sleeves and that just goes down into a nice flowy thing at the bottom it's really cute and really comfortable and sorry that my lighting is kind of going in and out um that's just because I've never done like a clothing haul before so I'm not really sure like how it works um but yeah um so just bear with me but yeah it's basically just a like tunic and it's really really cozy and soft and warm so I'm excited to layer this for fall and everything and I also got another one in maroon um which is already in the wash because I've worn it like several times already Okay, so the next thing that I got is from Victoria's Secret, and I actually forgot about this. This is um, from the pink line, obviously. It's size large. Um, it's basically just a nice little, like, um, hoodie type thing without a hood. <laughs> um, it's just, like, got the sleeves, long sleeves, and it's super oversized and, like, really, really comfortable. And then the back just says pink on it. And it's really, really cute. And the reason why I got this was because I wanted something to wear with all my sweatpants, like, in the fall and stuff. Because I like to just run out of the house, like, in my pajamas half the time. Um, like, I barely get dressed. Like, I'm not even kidding. Um, I always wear, like, my pajamas. And I'm always going out on, like, Spongebob pants and stuff. So just, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I bought some pink sweatpants, like, a really long time ago. And I just... I never have anything that matches them and I got this because it matches like my black ones and stuff like that and I also got some underwear as well which I'll show you guys later but yeah so this was actually $49.95 pink is expensive and I don't know I just I was like mm, I really want it so I might as well get it um and I just thought it was cute and it'd be nice to just throw on and stuff um for whatever it is that I decided to do also the like sleeves like on the side like have like the have like this detailing it's really cute and it's really really cozy it's not like super thick either so it's not like you're gonna be like sweating to death it's just really nice and i'm excited to wear it okay so i think the rest of the clothes that i got were from um i also got some more stuff from urban outfitters but i have a ton of laundry and i don't know where a lot of it is um but it was just kind of like just random black like tunics that are kind of hard to show on camera anyway um so basically this is from the store molly and zoe which i went to when i was um down at the shore for my birthday and it was just a random like store that was like kind of on the shore like kind of like in this like like outside mall type of thing um and this was by the brand tea party um and it's in a size large and it was 58 dollars that was a lot but i didn't buy it so but yeah, it just looks like that and it's like got these really cute little like sleeves on it and it's kind of like this like washed out like dark gray material and then it's like got these flowy little like 
prints on it and it's just really really cute um and it's so soft and i just love it so much and it fits really nice um so i love that for fall it's really hard for me to show this stuff on camera because i'm not used to doing like clothing hauls um so I was going to do a try and all, but I have no room in my room, and it's just really tight in here, so whenever I get more space, I will be definitely doing more hauls that are, like, try on and everything. Okay, so the next thing that I got was also from Molly and Zoe, like, the store that I went to when I was on vacation, and it's by the brand Permessa, so it's a different brand than the other one, um, but it's basically, like, this tie-dyed tunic, and it's long, and it looks really pretty with, like, leggings, and it's fitted, but then it's, like, flowy at the bottom. And this was, I think it was probably like 30 something dollars. I took the tags off because I've worn it a couple times. But it was around $30 or something like that. Um, and then basically when you put it on, this goes on like right here. And then it's got like these little like gaps. So it shows like the top of your shoulders. So you get a little scandalous going on. And uh, yeah, it's really cute. And then the sleeves are like flowy and it's just, it's really cute. So the next thing that I got was kind of like random. Uh, my mom actually got the same one. Um, because she got it and I was like, oh, that's really cute so she got this for me um when we were down there and this is also from molly and zoe and i'm trying to like make it not inside out because i tried it on um and this was 48 dollars and this is going to be kind of hard to show but it's kind of like this ombre effect thing it's really grungy i feel like um and it's got a hood in the back and it's like this nice thin material and it's really long and just super oversized and i thought it would be great for like leggings and stuff like in the fall and it's just like really pretty and it's just like this like nice wash and then it fades into like this dark dark gray it's really really cute um so yeah there's that the last um clothing item that i have um is actually from molly and zoe again um that i got when i was on vacation again um so this was 48 dollars, and this is by the brand pol um this is gonna be kind of hard to show you um it's basically like a nice flowy fitted top if that makes any sense it's really wide cut here so it kind of like it's like you get a lot of skin here and then it's basically like this beige color and then this is tight around your like under like your bust and then it just flows down and like it's really really pretty and um it's not like it's not long enough to be a dress but it looks really pretty with like a pair of tights or like um leggings because it covers your booty um and then the back just has like a little zipper so you can get into it um but it's really cute and i loved it because the sleeves were like really cute they're like these like big bell sleeves and i just love it um and it just looks really good on and i just i like it so there's that okay before i jump into the other stuff that i got i just want to say that if you guys couldn't see it that well i'm really really sorry if i can find this stuff like online i will definitely link it down below um that way you guys can see it better um i'm still kind of playing with my lighting because it's hard for me to like focus my phone because i use my phone to film um surprisingly i need to get a camera like i need to get on the bandwagon already um but yeah i'm sorry if you guys couldn't see it if it was kind of like washed out a little bit but i will definitely try and link everything down below um and I definitely want to try and do try on hauls once I have more space to work with um so yeah I'm sorry if you guys couldn't see it that well but yeah I just wanted to say that before I move on to everything else okay so the next stuff is basically all beauty stuff and I think I just have some stuff from Victoria's Secret that I was like underwear and stuff so I'll show you guys that stuff real quick um this is just like I got like the five for 27 undies um so I'm not gonna like go into detail because we don't need to do that but I got some underwear I got these ones because they're really cute. Yes, they're really cute. I got the same ones in white. Um, what's look like this? Should I show you a little booty and stuff? It's really cute. Um, and then I got, um, I just got these ones which I thought were really cute as well. I have another pair that I got from before that are like this, and they're like gray. Um, so I like those. And then I got these ones. Um. And I also got one more pair, but I already wore them, and I'm not going to show them <laughs> on camera. Um, but yeah, they just look like that, and yeah, they're cute. So, all black everything. Okay, so the next thing that I have is kind of random. Um, I picked this up at Walmart not that long ago um, when I just was kind of grabbing, like, concealer that I ran out of and I needed, like, a backup. And this is the Burt's Bees Papaya Guava Soy Candle, and it looks like this, and oh my god, my boyfriend smelt it. And then he was like, you have to smell this. And I was like, oh my god. 
it's so good and i've like burnt like all of it already because i put it in like when i take like baths and stuff it smells so good next thing that i got were um circle lenses from the site unique so um i was actually going to order from pinky paradise because i've heard a lot of good things about them um but for some reason the site was like not working and i couldn't get my payment to go through it was like really sketchy so i decided to go through unique so because i've heard a lot of good things about them as well um so i got um and they come in like little vials and then they come inside these little boxes which are like super cute um so i got two different pairs so the first pair that i got were these red ones and they're just basically like these red circle lenses and i'm gonna try and show you as best as i can um they just look like that so the next pair that I got was also from Unique So, came in the same packaging, vials, all that jazz, and I just moved it into my own container because the other one, I don't know, I just don't like, I don't like how flimsy the other one is. But yeah, they just look like this, and they just basically black out your eye. It's really, really cool. I like them a lot. Also, if you guys want to see me doing, like, a whole review of, like, me wearing them and, like, everything like that, I can definitely do that. Just let me know in the comments, and I will definitely do that. Um, I also ordered another pair that should be coming in soon, but it's from a different site. But if you guys want to see all of them, um, I will do that in a separate video. Um, just because I don't want to take them in and out and all that jazz and, like, have, like, a 30-minute video because I already have a feeling this video is going to be super long. Okay, so the first place that I went to when I went to the mall um, near me, actually, I went, um to like my regular mall that I usually go to and they actually have an elf store there which is really really cool um they have like it's like pretty new so I went in there and grabbed a couple of things because I was going to order stuff online anyway um so that was really cool I've already used basically everything um so I just kind of put everything back in the package um so yeah so the first thing that I got was this um, e.l.f. Baked Blush in Pinktastic, and I like it because it looks really pretty as a highlight and I've heard a lot of good things about it so that's why I got that and then the next thing that I got were two brushes um, because I was going to order these online um, because I wanted them anyway. And the first one is this um, e.l.f. contouring brush and it's basically like flat and as you can see I've already used it. Um, and I just really like it and it gets really good and like the, it does really well at getting in the hollow of your like cheekbones and stuff and I really really like it. So the next thing that I got was a small tapered brush which just looks like that. Um, I like it for setting my under eye con like concealer and all that jazz. So I picked that up. Okay so I think this is the last thing I got from e.l.f. and this is just the high definition under eye setting powder which everyone raves about. Um, I've used it a couple times and I really really like it. Um, it sets under my eyes really well and it brightens under there really well um, and it's just like translucent and it looks really really nice and it's very soft and it's not like cakey at all and I really like it and then so then I just put in an order on eBay and got some more of my $1.99 lashes I got like four of them this time and I also got a pair of eyelashes from the drugstore um like the other day when I was actually going to a barbecue and I was like I don't want to wear super dramatic ones um I just kind of want like subtle ones and I don't really want to use my wispies because I like using them like I don't know I just I had an excuse to get more eyelashes okay so um so i got these ones these are the ardell double ups um i have a pair on my eyes right now and i just got an extra pair because it was like buy one get one half off and they're really really pretty um i like the way that they look on my eyes a lot so the next place that i went to was sephora um because i had to get my birthday gift obviously and yes so i only got two things here um which were basically my birthday gift which was like these nars pencils if you guys want to see um, they're just these like NARS, it's like a beauty insider thing, and they're like little samples, and it comes with two of them, and I will swatch them for you, and I was like, I have to get these because I always forget to go in there and get my birthday gift, and I was like, well, I'm at the mall, I might as well go and get them, and I also got something else too. So the first color is, um, I don't even know how to pronounce that, this is in Rakujian, Rak Kujian, I don't know. It's like a really pretty mauve. Um, I like it a lot. It's very creamy and it's just very subtle. So that's that. And um, you actually get a good amount of product, actually. So I was surprised. So that's that one. And then they also give you a red one, which is in Corella. I like that. Um, it's just like a nice pretty blue undertone red. I love that, actually. It's really pretty. I haven't worn this yet, but I've worn this one. That is gorgeous. So I'm really happy about that. Um, so yeah. 
those were that was my birthday gift from Sephora. So thanks, Sephora. So I did need a setting spray because I ran out of my stuff that I use to actually make my own. Um, so I got the Kat Von D one because I was like, I'm not spending 40 bucks on the fucking Urban Decay one. So I got this one from Kat Von D, and I've used it already a couple times, and I love it. It's only 20 bucks, and it's amazing. Like it smells like amazing, and it's just amazing. And yeah, so. I love it, and I'm so happy I got it, and it was only 20 bucks, like, you can't complain about that, so, and it's Kat Von D, so. Okay, so the last place that I went to was Lush, um, and this was the first time I ever went to Lush, um, because I never, like, knew there was actually one in my mall until recently, <laughs> um, and I was, like, I don't feel like ordering online because I'm just lazy and I don't like paying for shipping, so I was like, well, let me go in there and see what it's all about because I don't really know that much about them. Um, and, I mean, like, I'm sure, you know, like, I've seen tons of videos and stuff and reviews and stuff like that, but... I don't know. I just wanted to go in there and see what it was all about before I placed an order online. So the first thing that I got from Lush was this aroma water. And it just looks like this. I got like the smaller size because I wasn't sure like if I was going to like it or not. Um, and this basically says a, it's a gentle rose lavender tonic tonic for everyday use that helps hydrate dry sensitive or more mature skin without causing it to overreact. Soft comfortable skin. It's only a spritz away. And it's amazing i love this stuff i put it on right before i put my moisturizer on and it makes my skin feel like like a baby's ass i'm not even kidding i love it okay so the next thing that i got was a sample because the actual one was like 50 bucks and i was like Whoa, like i'm not spending that much on a moisturizer right now um so this was the skin's showering law or whatever um i just got like a sample of it i don't know if i like the smell of it to be honest it kind of like I don't know, I just don't like the smell that much, but I do like the way it hydrates, um, but I feel like my Cetaphil and all that stuff does the same job, and I don't know if I'm, like, ready to spend the 50 bucks on it. Um, if you guys have any good moisturizing, moisturizer recommendations, please leave them down below because I'm on the hunt for some new ones. So, then the next thing that I got was this Ocean Salt Scrub, um, which is, like, amazing, like, literally amazing. And it just looks like that, and I got, like, the smaller tub, and it literally smells like heaven. Oh, my God. It's so amazing. It's so fresh, and it feels amazing on your skin, and it's just so exfoliating, and, like, I can't even say enough good things about it because I love it so much. It's just the bomb. Like, if you are going to try one Lush product, try the Ocean Salt one because it is the bomb. It's just... It smells like, it just smells like heaven. And I also got a bath bomb, which I will insert a clip of it here. Because I already used it, and it was the sex bomb. Um, it was the first bath bomb that I ever got, so... I made like a whole video and stuff because I had to be like one of those cool Instagram people. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty big haul. I'm running out of space on my phone, so I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Again, thank you guys so much for sticking around. Um, I'm so happy that I'm back at the swing of things and filming again. I feel really good. Um, so until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!